Welcome to sunny Barcelona, where we've come to have a spin in this, the all-new XC60 from Volvo. Stylistically, it may not look that different to the car that it replaces, but these sharp new crease lines, reprofiled grille, and these funky Thor hammer headlights make it look every inch the premium SUV. Unlike the larger XC90, the XC60 is only available as a five-seater, but that's about the only downside. There's plenty of room for four, five at a push, and these leather seats are very comfortable and extremely supportive. It's also very light and airy in here, thanks to this large glass area and this optional panoramic sunroof. That said, I reckon it would take no time at all for a couple of toddlers to trash this light-coloured interior. Granted, this is a top-of-the-range car, but this dash is beautifully laid out and constructed from some really nice materials. The jewel in the crown is this 9-inch portrait touchscreen. The fonts are really big and it's easy to scroll across, so it's really easy to use when you're driving. At 505 litres, it's not quite as big as an Audi Q5, but it's still a good square shape and it's easy to load thanks to this flat load bay and the standard electric tailgate. So all these launch cars have come on air suspension, which is actually a £2,000 option in the UK. Quite expensive to say the least. But what we can say with this system fitted is the ride is very comfortable and very plush. It has a pronounced amount of body float on it, so it's not the greatest thing in a corner. Even when you turn it into a roundabout, it does tend to lean over quite a bit. You can tighten the body by selecting dynamic control, but it's still primarily a comfortable car. It's actually probably the most connected steering I've ever experienced in a Volvo. It still doesn't have a great deal of feel, but actually as soon as you move it off straight ahead, it's actually there, the wheels do change direction. Unlike previous Volvos where you'd be hurling away at the wheel, trying to get it to turn into corners. The XC60 is also available with Pilot Assist. It's simply a system that reads the road and influences the steering to keep you between the white lines. It's kind of not a system I am particularly keen on because what will happen with it is it tends to drift between the white lines like a drunken sailor. Personally, I prefer to take control of the car myself. So from launch, all XC60s will come with four-wheel drive and an eight-speed automatic gearbox. The most popular sellers in the UK, for now at least, are still going to be the diesels. There's a D4 diesel and this, which is the D5 diesel. It's 230 brake horsepower, but it never really feels that quick. The car still feels quite heavy, but the good thing about it is it is extremely quiet, very refined. The shifts are smooth. Power delivery is also very linear. Okay, so we've only had the briefest of driving the XC60, but we wouldn't mind betting it's gonna be a complete smash hit. It's comfortable, quiet, refined, easy to drive. You can pretty much guarantee you're gonna see a load of these on a school run near you pretty soon. Thank you.